Oh my god. Don't tell me it actually happened. The US government looked very friendly towards crypto. I mean, it gave a green light to a Bitcoin ETF and now Ethereum. But god, we were wrong. The things that are happening behind the scenes are very shady. But what is actually going on? And how come we never heard of it? This is an exclusive video you won't find anywhere else. So let's not waste a single second of your time and get straight to the point. Disclaimer. Breaking news today. Shiba Inu has taken a massive hit, losing 84% in a very important metric. This sudden drop has left the Shiba Inu community baffled, as the whales, or large holders, seem to have vanished, almost completely. The Shiba Inu army is in a state of confusion, trying to figure out what went wrong. But what just happened? Well, according to cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is serious about the destruction of digital assets. This news has sent shockwaves through the crypto community. Many enthusiasts are worried and uncertain about the future, fearing stricter regulations and a tougher environment for cryptocurrencies. And here's something very important. Many are scratching their heads, wondering why this sudden turn of events. After all, the United States recently gave the green light to Bitcoin ETFs, and more recently, Ethereum ETFs. People were gearing up for a potential bull run, only to be blindsided by this unexpected twist. The sense of confusion and frustration is palpable among crypto enthusiasts, who now find themselves grappling with uncertainty and questioning the direction of the market. But wait, what just happened exactly? Well, let me explain. Coinbase, a major cryptocurrency exchange, has raised serious concerns about the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's approach to regulating the crypto industry. In a recent filing with the U.S. Court of Appeals in its ongoing effort to push the court to force the SEC to begin making fair rules for the crypto industry, Coinbase asserted, the SEC is serious about the destruction of digital assets. They believe the SEC is determined to stifle the industry through its regulation by enforcement strategy, aiming to choke the crypto market. And this is a crazy thing. Fair rules for the crypto industry are crucial for its widespread adoption. Clear regulations provide stability and confidence for investors and businesses alike. Without them, the industry remains in a constant state of uncertainty, hindering its growth potential. Coinbase is fighting hard for clearer rules. Right now, there aren't many rules written down, but the SEC keeps going after crypto companies, making things even more confusing. So, lots of crypto companies are leaving the U.S. because they don't see a future here. And unfortunately, as it seems, the situation is getting worse every day. Even though Coinbase is trying to talk to the SEC, it feels like the SEC doesn't want to make things clear. Coinbase says it's a waste of time to ask the SEC for more explanations. Giving the agency further opportunity to explain itself is both pointless and exquisitely undeserved, Coinbase remarked. The whole situation is all a bit nonsensical, isn't it? On one hand, the SEC seems to be signaling approval by giving the green light to crypto ETFs. Meanwhile, we're witnessing massive inflows of money into the crypto space every single day. But behind the scenes, it appears they're actually trying to tighten their grip and crack down on the crypto industry. It's a puzzling contradiction that just doesn't add up. From an ethical standpoint, it's like the SEC is playing a double game. They're giving the impression of openness and acceptance, yet their actions suggest otherwise. It's hard not to feel a sense of distrust and skepticism towards their motives. To put it in simpler terms, imagine if you had a friend who kept telling you they supported your dreams and goals, but every time you tried to pursue them, they secretly sabotaged your efforts. It's confusing, frustrating, and downright absurd. That's essentially what's happening here with the SEC and the crypto industry. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. The growing discussion around the relationship between cryptocurrency and the U.S. government is gaining traction, especially as we approach the U.S. presidential election. Elections tend to bring important issues to the forefront of public attention. Candidates often have differing views and policies regarding technology, finance, and regulation. Since cryptocurrency sits at the intersection of all these areas, it naturally becomes a topic of interest during election seasons. People want to know where candidates stand on issues like digital currency regulation, taxation, and innovation. And here's what we currently have. Trust me, it will confuse you even more. If we take a look at the current president of the United States, here's something crazy that has just happened. Amidst intense scrutiny of the cryptocurrency industry, Many believe that the Biden administration was softening its stance, especially after allowing the SEC to approve several Ethereum ETFs. However, President Joe Biden recently did something unexpected. You see, there was a SAB 121, 
a legislative document intended to influence the SEC's rules on crypto assets. Essentially, it was a resolution to try to stop the SEC from enforcing certain regulations on cryptocurrencies, and it was recently passed by Congress. When it passed through Congress, the crypto community was excited. It seemed like a victory, a sign that the government was moving in a direction that favored the interests of crypto enthusiasts. The community celebrated, seeing it as a step towards more favorable regulations or perhaps even a loosening of restrictions on cryptocurrencies. It was a moment of hope and optimism, with many believing that this resolution would bring about positive changes in the crypto landscape. But now, just yesterday, out of the blue, Biden vetoed the latest resolution. In simple terms, Biden's veto means he rejected the resolution aimed at interfering with the SEC's crypto asset rules. This move has sparked a lot of anger in the crypto community, with many feeling like Biden has lost their support entirely. Here's some very simple explanation of what happened. Imagine you and your friends are planning a road trip to your favorite destination. You've been looking forward to it for months, excitedly discussing all the places you'll visit and the memories you'll make along the way. Finally, the day of the trip arrives and everyone is packed and ready to go. As you hit the road, the journey is going smoothly. You're enjoying the scenic views, singing along to your favorite songs, and sharing laughs with your friends. It feels like nothing could dampen your spirits. But then, halfway through the trip, the driver suddenly decides to turn the car around and head back home. That's how the crypto community felt when SAB 121 passed through Congress. It was like they were on this exhilarating journey towards positive changes and greater acceptance of cryptocurrencies. They were thrilled to see progress being made and felt optimistic about the future. But then, just like the unexpected decision to turn the car around, President Biden's veto came as a shock and disrupted their momentum. It felt like they were forced to abandon their plans and return to square one, leaving them frustrated and disillusioned. The excitement of the journey turned into disappointment, and they couldn't help but feel let down by the sudden change, of course. The crypto community didn't take Biden's decision well. Anthony Scaramucci from Skybridge Capital spoke out, saying Biden's stance on crypto could lead to unexpected problems. He wrote on X, Biden's position on crypto may cost him more than he realizes. It was a really bad decision to veto that bill, especially at this critical time. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has a different view on this. He recently made it clear that he's not on the same page as Biden when it comes to crypto. In a speech at the Libertarian National Convention, Trump stated, I will also stop Joe Biden's crusade to crush crypto. We're going to stop it. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. Trump didn't stop there. He took to his social media platform Truth Social to emphasize his support for cryptocurrency companies, saying, I am very positive and open-minded to cryptocurrency companies and all things related to this new and burgeoning industry. He stressed the importance of the U.S. being a leader in this field, stating, There is no second place. Trump also didn't hold back on criticizing Biden, calling him the worst president in the history of our country and accusing him of wanting crypto to fail. Trump concluded by asserting, that will never happen with me. Regardless of what will happen next, it's evident that the issue is serious. Crypto will remain a hot topic in the coming months, with discussions on regulation, policies, and potential presidential stances. This issue is serious and will impact every crypto, including Shiba Inu. Today, we saw a drastic 84% drop in whale transactions, which probably means that rising fear among investors. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then make sure to click on one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.